Today on the base channel, we're finally checking out the fur coat fuzz from Orange. Finally! <laughs> get rolling here let's just get a couple things out of the way first off if you're new here please do me a huge favor hit that subscribe button and make sure you ring that notification bell to stay up to date on all the new videos that we're putting out second of all if you like this shirt and want to get one for yourself you can check them out either down below in the YouTube merch shelf or in the description below I'm going to start by reading some facts off of the website and then I'm going to give you my opinion on the pedal So if that's something that's worthwhile to you, please stick around to the end But for now, we're gonna start by burning down some facts Loosely based on the vintage Fox tone machine the orange fur coat fuzz takes its inspiration from the great fuzz pedals of the 70s The fur coat gives you a fully controllable octave fuzz pedal separate switches mean you can choose between fuzz or octave fuzz <laughs> adjustable octave is also something that is quite rare. Rather than simply being able to switch it on and off, the fur coat adds octave up as you increase the octave control. The controllable octave up fuzz means you can bring in the fuzz to whatever level you need and the EQ allows you to boost your treble or bass. of less than 10 milliamps allowing for long battery life or you can use a regulated 9 to 12 volt DC center negative power supply. Another interesting thing to note is that the fur coat fuzz is the only true bypass pedal in the orange line. This is because most fuzz pedals typically play better when they see a high impedance signal like the signal that comes out of your instrument and placing a buffer in there or placing the pedal after another pedal with a buffer can definitely alter the characteristics so therefore this pedal is indeed true bypass. And 
And before we go any further, I just want to take a quick second to let you know that that sound sample was provided by my good friend Jamie Lewis over at TheBassist.net. And right now, if you head over to TheBassist.net slash bass channel, you'll get an exclusive discount off of your first billing cycle. And if you've never been to TheBassist.net, I highly recommend checking it out. There is plenty of cool material, information, videos, PDF, lessons, you name it, it's there. So go over to TheBassist.net slash bass channel. It supports the channel, it supports Jamie's channel, and you get to learn something. I know I've sure learned quite a bit over there, so I highly recommend going and checking it out. opportunity to take a look at the fur coat fuzz was last summer in Germany at Toman's TGU 19. While we were there we shot a video shooting out 47 fuzz pedals in seven minutes. If you haven't seen it, it's right here, highly recommend checking it out. But in that amount of time we shot out 47 fuzz pedals and in order to you know make sure we were able to get through all of them in our allotted one hour slot, we kept all the knobs at noon or straight up or neutral or flat or whatever uh, term you want to use to describe that. Uh, all of them straight up. And unlike the finished video, we were not able to really pick up on the subtle differences in each fuzz because we weren't hearing them back to back like it ended up being edited together. We had to unplug them, take them out of the box, plug them back in. But despite that, upon plugging this in, it was instantaneously unanimous that this was a special fuzz. I don't think we used the octave uh, in that video, I think it was just the, the standard straight fuzz. But again, first impression when all knobs were set flat, neutral, straight up, we all looked at each other and said, wow. And as you can see by the comments of that video, the audience also agreed. fantastic sounding fuzz. Now, I don't know if it's germanium or silicon, but based on my experience with fuzz, I'm sure some people out there have quite a bit more experience than I do. Uh, based on my experience in my ear, this sounds like it's silicon, which would make sense because I typically gravitate towards a silicon fuzz, and uh, this is awesome. I, I really like it. And like most things, I haven't tried every product in the orange line, but every product that I have tried in the orange line, whether they be pedals or amps, Everything has been built very, very solid. Uh, and the same goes for this. It's a sturdy housing, but mostly you feel it in the knobs. Uh, same goes for this amp and uh, the other amps that we've tried. There's just, you know, when you turn those knobs, it just feels like it is constructed very well and it feels very sturdy. And these are designed in England, made in Korea. However, they feel great. I mean, to be fair, I haven't really tried many Korean products that don't feel great, but uh, this one definitely does. Uh, housing is sturdy. This little uh, protector bar, so when you're stepping on it, you don't. I don't really know how much of an issue that would really be. It's never been an issue for me, but in case you have gigantic feet, uh, there's a bar here to protect the, the knobs and their settings from you stepping on it.
I'm not entirely sure how practical the octave up function is. I mean, maybe if you're doing something in the high register and you're soloing and you need to just jump out for a second, I think it would come in handy. Overall, it's probably not the most practical feature. Um, but that being said, I mean, even if this didn't have the octave function, it's still a fantastic sounding fuzz. Um, the EQ control is quite usable, has a really nice sweep, but it never gets, at least to me, it never gets too crazy. Maybe all the way up is a little bright for some, but for the most part, all of these controls have a really good sweep. The fuzz control sounds really good no matter where it's placed. Uh, I liked the lower settings and the straight up settings and then the, of course, where every fuzz should be set all the way up to 10. Uh, they all sounded great. Uh, I don't have many bad things to say about this pedal other than arguing that for bass players, the octave function might not be practical. But uh, I mean, that's really ultimately up for you to decide. Um, I think that we found a couple good uses for it in the tones that we showcased in this video. And one more thing, I'm not exactly sure when this is going to happen, but sometime very soon, we're going to be giving this pedal away to one of our subscribers. So huge thank you to Orange for helping us make that a possibility. Now, if you're not subscribed, you definitely going to want to subscribe to be notified of when that giveaway is going to happen. You can also check out Patreon for more secret and exclusive content, and somewhere right here is another video that YouTube feels is best suited to your interest. Now. It's about 90 degrees in Las Vegas. These lights are real hot, so if you'll excuse me, I'm gonna go have myself a beer, and I'll see you later. Oh yeah, oh that's good.